Welcome my survivors. I wish you a happy new year. I'm your host, and tonight we delve into the chilling story of my new year turning dark. Join me as we unravel the eerie mysteries of this new year. New Year's Eve had always been a night of celebration, but as the clock ticked closer to midnight, I felt a growing sense of unease. The year was coming to an end, and little did I know that the transition would lead me into a realm of horror and supernatural dread. The party was in full swing, laughter, clinking glasses, and the distant sounds of fireworks filled the air. I decided to take a moment of solitude on the balcony, gazing at the city lights below. The night seemed ordinary, but a subtle tension lingered, and an unspoken fear whispered through the cool breeze. As the clock struck 12, and the cheers of Happy New Year echoed around me, the atmosphere shifted. A chill ran down my spine as the air itself seemed to thicken. The revelry around me dulled, replaced by an eerie silence that heralded the arrival of something unseen. The apartment, once vibrant with life, now felt like a chamber of the unknown. I convinced myself that it was just the post-midnight quiet, but shadows danced on the walls, morphing into twisted shapes that defied explanation. The celebratory mood had given way to an unspoken dread that settled in the air like a heavy fog. Deciding to shake off the unease, I retreated to my room, only to find the atmosphere more oppressive behind closed doors. The dim glow of the street lights filtered through the curtains, casting an otherworldly glow on the furniture that seemed to watch me with unseen eyes. As I lay in bed, the ticking of the clock resonated like a drumbeat, each second marking a step closer to the unknown. That's when I heard it, the soft patter of footsteps, as if someone was tiptoeing in the hallway. My heart raced, and I strained to listen, hoping it was just my imagination. The footsteps grew closer, a rhythmic cadence that matched the beating of my heart. The bedroom door creaked open, revealing a silhouette against the muted glow of the hallway. My breath caught as I stared into the darkness, unable to discern the source of the intrusion. Wait did you remember to hit the subscribe button for more upcoming stories? Do it now only if you dare. Who's there? I called out, my voice barely more than a whisper. The figure remained silent, but I felt its presence drawing near. Panic set in, and I fumbled for the bedside lamp, casting a feeble light across the room. The space appeared empty, yet the sense of being watched persisted. As I lay there, paralyzed by fear, the room plunged into darkness. The lamp flickered and died, leaving me shrouded in an inky blackness. Whispers, indistinct and haunting, surrounded me. It was as if the walls themselves were speaking, revealing long-buried secrets and unsettling truths. In the oppressive silence, a sudden gust of icy wind swept through the room, extinguishing the remaining candles. The temperature dropped, and I felt a spectral presence, an unseen force that moved with intent. A voice, soft yet filled with sorrow, echoed through the void. You should not have welcomed the new year, it murmured, sending shivers down my spine. The voice seemed to come from all directions, a chorus of the damned lamenting the passing of time. Terrified, I stumbled towards the door, desperate to escape the encroaching darkness. The hallway stretched endlessly, a labyrinth of shadows that twisted and contorted. The footsteps resumed, echoing with an unsettling urgency. I followed the sound, each step bringing me closer to a revelation that I feared to uncover. As I turned the corner, I found myself in a room bathed in an ethereal glow. Flickering candles revealed a scene frozen in time, a New Year's celebration from years past. Ghostly figures danced, their faces distorted in a macabre expression of joy. It was a spectral ballroom, a nightmarish echo of festivities long gone. The ghostly figures turned towards me, their hollow eyes conveying a silent plea. They were trapped, caught in a never-ending celebration that twisted into a haunting nightmare. The whispers grew louder, recounting tales of shattered dreams and broken promises. In the center of the spectral dance, a clock struck midnight, and the room convulsed with a surge of energy. The figures writhed in agony, their once celebratory dance transforming into a tormenting ritual. I realized that I had unwittingly entered a realm where time stood still, a place haunted by the remnants of past New Year's Eves. As the clock's final chime echoed, the room plunged into darkness. The ghostly figures disappeared, leaving me alone in the suffocating blackness.
The air was thick with despair, and the whispers persisted, recounting tales of lost souls forever trapped in the relentless cycle of New Year's Eve. Suddenly, I found myself back in my room, the clock on the wall striking midnight once more. The oppressive presence lifted, and the whispers faded into the night. The apartment returned to its normal state, as if the harrowing journey had been a figment of my imagination. Haunted by the paranormal descent into the spectral realm of New Year's Eve's past, I question the nature of time and the unseen forces that linger in the transition between years. The celebration had ended, but the echoes of that supernatural night would forever haunt the threshold between one year and the next.